You can land a Brad Pitt. You can land a Idris Elba. Even though you got eight kids and you 300 pounds, you can land those guys. Do you love me? What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in for another video. Really appreciate it. Thank you for coming by. It's the Let's Work channel. It's a working channel. Me and you is the Let's, and the video is the work. So let's work together. Comment, like, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Let's get into the video. All right, today's video is entitled The Problem with Modern Day Women. Right off the bat, I just want to clarify that, you know, we don't hate women. I don't hate women. I'm going to do problem with modern day women and I plan to do a problem with modern day men as well with this video we're going to focus on the problem with modern day women and also another disclaimer that is going to get dark as I go through these five points so just prepping you guys okay all right let's get into it the first problem with modern day women is that they overvalue themselves they over value themselves now when i used to do comedy i had a joke that feminism was allowed by men so with that being said that's the reason why they overvalue themselves for from guys guys are overly pursuing guys are throwing money at them guys would do anything for the you know what i'm saying also you have social media only fans you have a bunch of options outside where the chick feels like she's on a pedestal. She feels like she is invincible. Not to mention if she's in her prime, she's in a prime 18 to 25. She feels invincible. She literally feels like she could get God probably, you know? So chicks overvalue themselves. Now you might say, what's the problem with overvalue themselves? It's not realistic, you know? So like a person could, you know, all chick, some chicks might overvalue themselves and they don't they don't deserve that value. Like some chicks might say, I want a six feet, six figure guy, millionaire guy, but there's no way they could get that guy because there's only a small percentage of guys. So that's what happens when you overvalue yourself. You don't see things realistically. It's like a, a dream. A, you just like, no, I'm going to just keep it. I'm going to just set my standards so high. So most of these women end up single because they overvalue themselves on the market. The second problem with modern day women is that they think they're men. They think they're men. They think they could be promiscuous. They think they could have a bunch of sexual partners. And because they overvalue themselves, they feel like they could go through that phase and lock down that guy. They don't see that men actually see everything and it actually hurts their chances of locking down that guy. So they think like they're men. They think they could go out, party, have fun, drink, have a career, have a bunch of partners. And still, after all of that, after getting ran through everything, everything like that, getting ran through multiple times, they think they could lock down that six figure, six feet guy, which is probably like only a handful of guys on earth. They, they all think they could lock that up. Even if they, even if she, her weight gets out of hand, you know, she still feels like she's a guy. She feels like she deserves everything that guys do. Like well, guys are just everything, everything that guys do she she thinks she could get away with those things anything but you know the hard labor they want everything but the hard labor anything that benefits them that's what they want but they want that benefit the same the same way guys have that benefit they want that same benefit they think they're guys all right the third problem that modern women face is the alpha and beta selection alpha and beta choice so like biologically you know the woman wants the alpha because she wants the best genetics for her offspring okay but the facts are is that the alpha usually has a lot of options so she has a choice to make am i going to go for this alpha knowing that he might not raise his offspring knowing that he might just be promiscuous knowing what comes with that or do i settle with the beta understanding that even though the beta is providing for me say the beta male provider even though he's providing for me i'm not gonna have those alpha genetics 
So it's a, it's a paradigm. They go back and forth from that. And that's the harsh truth. You know, they want the alpha beta, but there's no such thing. It's like there's everything has an effect. You know, you go for the alpha, you got to go for what comes with the alpha. You go with the beta, you're going to have to go what comes with that. So you have to choose. So a lot of these chicks get knocked up by the alpha, end up being single moms, and they settle for the beta, and the beta will raise his children. That's what usually happens. So that alpha beta selection is one of the tough things, and ladies would not ever talk about this, but this is one of the tough decisions that a woman has to, has to make. Number four, the biggest problem is that modern women face is too many choices. Too many choices. They have too many choices. It's like in today's day, a D and age, everything is online. Everything is easily accessible. So the point where you just scrolling through, you ever be on YouTube, so many videos, you don't even know which one to click. So many options. They go on social media. So many dudes are hollering at them. They don't know which one to pick. You ever, as a kid, you have that, you know, that big heart of chocolates. My grandmother used to have these heart of chocolates, you know what I'm saying? And it has a bunch of different types of chocolates and flavors. It was so hard to pick one because it was just so many. That's what that's what girls, are, they have too many options. So they might get into a, um, a, a marriage. They don't take it seriously. They don't take it seriously. They'll get divorced because they feel like they have more options. They might get 30. They might hit the wall. They still feel like they have more options because of the internet, because of social media, because of the modern day feminism. Modern day feminism telling that you go, girl, you got, you got, you got this. You got many options. You can land a Brad Pitt. You can land an Idris Elba, even though you got eight kids and you 300 pounds. You can land those guys. So it's just so many options that they have. Now, last but not least, this is going to get dark. This is going to get dark. Last but not least, the biggest problem modern women face is their mortality. They're afraid of dying. They're afraid. Here's the harsh reality. No matter how big your booty is, how much money you're making on OnlyFans, no matter how much that is, at some point, you have to go. And another group of girls is going to come in. Another group of humans is going to come in. And this, you know, this could be required for both sexes. Everybody's afraid of death, but let's just speak. Let's just specifically speak for a woman. You're going to go like if you have a high ego. And you feel like you are invincible, you feel like you could get any guy. You get, it doesn't matter if you got to go, if you really think about it. You got to go anyway. Nobody's really going to when you go, nobody's really going to be checking for you. You're just going to poof, you're just going to disappear their mortality they feel immortal they feel immortal they feel like they could get away with murder they could get away with anything but once you figure out your mortality rate it's like when you uh you could be having a conversation and you realize oh somebody close to you died you see how you get humbled when you get when somebody that you know passes away it real you you get to realize your own mortality you like, oh wow, this person passed away. You know, I I mean I I had a friend in high school that passed away. I looked at my life, like I'm passing away. That that's gonna happen. You have to deal with that. If you look at all the other points that I had as far as overvaluing and them getting everything that I want, at some point they're gonna they're gonna end, you know? Everything, everything is going to end. Nothing lasts forever, no matter how good it is. Nothing lasts forever. So they're afraid of their own mortality. Okay. All right. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I uh, appreciate uh, the love thus far and the, the feedback. And I really appreciate it. Let me know if I missed some stuff. Probably did. But uh, I appreciate you guys for coming by. And I'll see you guys soon. One, one, one out. Peace.